Buffy and I'm doing a tag video. So this is the Therese tag by Therese Little Stitcher and I have the questions on my screen over here. So if I'm looking over here, that's why. Uh, so first question, do seasons affect your stitching patterns? Not that I know of. Um, it's less about seasons and more about what else is happening in my life. I tend to get stuck in a rut and then I don't want to stitch. I don't have the motivation to do pretty much anything, which is why it's taken me so long to get this tag done. Yeah. Um, yeah, so less about seasons, more just about stress and other stuff. Um, next, do you prefer stitching with a lap stand, on a floor stand, or in hand? I don't have a um, floor stand. I made a desk stand. I didn't like it. I was not a fan of two-handed stitching, so um, I don't think I'd like a floor stand either. But in hand is fine. So, uh, do you prefer stitching with a hoop, Q-snap, frame, or in hand? Um, hoops and Q-snaps are my go-tos now. I've just bought myself like a second Q-snap, so yeah, I'm, I'm into the Q-snaps. Um, hoops, if they're small projects, I go in hand. So. I don't know about beading yet, um, I've only ever beaded one thing now and that was a little in hand one so we'll see how we go when that comes around. Um, number four, yes, uh, do you use a stitching light or no additional lighting? Um, I have my standard bedroom light, I have a lamp just in case, um, I use the lamp like it's right above my webcam, that's why I'm pointing there. Um, <clears throat> it's just a standard desk lamp, um, nothing fancy and I mostly use it when I'm colouring um, and I only use it for stitching if Andrew is crashing in my room for the electric blanket and I turn the big light off. Um, that's it. I don't have a stitchy light. <laughs> I just have lights. Um, do you use a magnifier? No. I don't need one. My my eyesight's still pretty good and I stitch on Ada, so do you stitch one handed, two handed or both? One handed. Hold and stitch. Uh do you prefer to stitch alone in a quiet place or around the family and in the living area? I stitch in my room, it's just easier. Um I stitch at my desk, everything is set up here, you know, I have my drawers here, I've got other stuff here, bookcase here, desk. TV, movies, gaming, music, whatever the hell I want. Um, sometimes Andrew will sit in here and stitch with me. He'll sit on the bed, I'll sit here. Um, sometimes I get into hangouts, but mostly I stitch by myself now, especially just not really. <laughs> just haven't really been in hangouts and stuff. It's just been everything else and I haven't. I've been stitching by myself. Um, preferred fabric and preferred count. Um, Ada, I mostly stitch on 18 count now. Um, that seems to be my new preference. Um, but 14 and 16 count are also alright. I've yet to try 20 or 22 count. I've tried 25. I was not a fan of 25 count. I just, it just didn't look neat to me. It just didn't look neat. Um, no preference on colours and stuff like that, unless, like, depending on the project, so. In your time stitching, have you ever lost your stitchy bug? If so, how many times have you lost it and how did you get it back? I'm always, it's not so much losing my stitchy bug, I just lose motivation completely. And it has more to do with the fact that I have a mental illness more than losing my stitchy bug as such. It's just, I generally feel unmotivated to do anything and I will just sit here at my computer and just scroll through things and just not feel like doing anything. Um, same goes for gaming and stuff like that. I'm currently just trying to get myself out of one of these things. It's got a lot to do with outside stresses and um, at the moment it's just like we're doing two group group projects. I hate group projects. So I hate having to deal with other people. 
Like, if I just do it myself, it would be done and that would be it. But no, I don't do it with other people. And it's it's not something just small. We're organising a stall at a festival and then I'm organising a festival. And it's, oh my god, I hate it so much. Like, I really, really am hating it. Um, so I'm just feeling really stressed with that and then stuff at home and then just the usual stuff of, you know, job hunting and financial worries and bills and all sorts of stuff and I'm just not in the mood to do anything. I haven't, I've barely been gaming. I'm not what, I'm not catching up on any of the TV shows and stuff that I've got that I'm behind in and it's just, yeah, it's been bad. Um, do you travel and stitch? Would you stitch on public transport? Or is it a home hobby? Mostly I stitch at home. Um, I stitch at TAFE as well. I've spoken to all my teachers and they're okay with me cross-stitching in class. Um, and I don't really stitch on public transport. I don't really get public transport because it's a pain in the ass. And I'm usually too free too busy freaking out that about the fact that my brakes don't hold my wheels very well on my wheelchair. So um, <laughs> I, I spend most public transport trips just going like this on the hand rims. So not really ideal stitching conditions. Um, I don't stitch in the car. Um, I just, I get dizzy. Um, yeah. So it's mostly, mostly home and tape. Um, I have stitched at, um, we've gone out for a pub lunch with um, my housemate, a couple of mates, and they were watching USC fights and I was sitting there cross-stitching, so I've done stuff like that. And that is the tag, so I'll see you guys later.